Hello everybody and welcome to the first ever episode of Disney Cars Diecasts that have been made, where I take a look back at my older Disney Cars Diecasts that should be made episodes and discuss what cars have been released since I made those videos. A lot of my old Cars That Should Be Made episodes are now outdated, so I've decided to start up a series here where I talk about cars that have been released. Today specifically, I'm going to be going over every single car from Cars That Should Be Made that has been made from the first volume, so the first 10 episodes. While I will be discussing cars that we know are going to be coming out in the future, I won't be going over any cancelled cars uh, since those guys still technically haven't been made. So, sorry to Thomasville Cruz, Smokey with Headset, and Brickyardly Sponsor. Anyway though guys, let's get started. The first car that I ever featured in an episode of Cars That Should Be Made is this guy right here, Pranked McQueen. Pranked McQueen, of course, is based off of the scene uh, at the beginning of Cars 3 where McQueen is sprayed with whipped cream and confetti. And, in a really surprising move, which I didn't expect, Mattel actually released this guy in early 2020 as Cupcake McQueen, a diecast that I absolutely love. Probably one of my favorite releases from 2020. He looks really good. And again, he's one that I was really surprised to see actually released. Up next, and also from episode 1, are the Virtual Reality Trainees. These guys are kind of a weird case, as the Trainees themselves, Jay and Ernesto, have been released, being released in 2020, but these specific cars, these specific variants with the VR headsets, have not been. I've expressed my disappointment with that in several videos at this point. I really wish that these two had included the VR headsets. So these guys ended up being kind of a weird case where... Yeah, the characters have been made, Jay and Ernesto are the virtual reality trainees, but they weren't made in the way I was hoping them to be, and hopefully we see a virtual reality headset version of these two someday. I highly doubt that, but still keeping my fingers crossed. The next one is pretty simple, Next Gen Clutch Aid. He was released in 2020 under the name Noah Gokak. And the car that made the thumbnail for this episode, the Igniter Pity, or Igniter Pities as they were labeled as in the episode since... Ideally, we would get more than one like we have for some other teams. The car pictured here is one holding a yellow tire gun. And for the first time in 2020, Mattel released an igniter penny with a yellow tire gun, naming her Laura Spinwell. Starting off, episode 3 here was Sweet T, who we got in 2019 in a total ripoff of a two-pack with Guido. They easily could have been a single release. I then came up with the idea of Mattel releasing a two-pack featuring four pities, just like the Uncle Topolino's band, instead including Sweet Tea's band and a variant of Sweet Tea holding a microphone. This is a very specific idea. It's not what Mattel is doing. Instead, they are going to be releasing, in 2021, the individual members of Sweet Tea's band as singles, each including their instruments, which I think is pretty cool. And a few of those guys were canceled back in 2018. Junior Moon, Luis Nash, and River Scott with Ghost Flames, as I called them, were all supposed to be released in 2018 as the Hot Rod variants. But Luis and River were both cancelled. This, very awkwardly, left us with only Hot Rod Junior Moon and Hot Rod Smokey, but Luis and River are set to be released finally in 2021. Another car that's set for a 2021 release that we don't have images for yet is Millie. And assuming that she's labeled to come all by herself in a single, I'd assume that she'll also include the floor cleaning device, just like I said here. Now I'm going to skip over episode 4, because that was the Cars Tune special, and Mattel hasn't released a single new Cars Tune car since I made it. Episode 5 featured the Igniter crew chief, real name Ray Reverham, but I guess I didn't know that. His name was a known fact before I made this video, because his name is in the credits, but whatever. Mattel released this guy in a two-pack with the Igniter Pity Laura Spinwell in 2020. Also in this episode is Fair Game, who was cancelled in a three-pack back in 2017, but uncancelled in 2020 and released as a single. And finally, in episode 5, Hydraulic Miami Ramon, as I called him, was also released in 2020 as a single as Hydraulic Florida Ramon, and he also included his paint gun on the side. The reason why I called this guy Miami Ramon is because I made this video actually before Florida Ramon came out, and I was just calling him Miami Ramon at the time because that's what the mini racer called him. 
Episode 6's Jackson Storm with Champion sticker is a car that I've seen heavily requested within the Cars fan community that we are still yet to get, although the color changer version of Jackson Storm does include his Champion sticker. Up next is Racing Day's Junior Moon, first released in 2018 as Heyday Junior Moon. I think calling these the Heyday variants was definitely the way to go. This episode also featured a concept for a two-pack with a metallic Fabulous McQueen and metallic Dynaco Cruz. I highly doubt Mattel will do a metallic two-pack anytime soon. Um, but we have gotten one of these two cars. Metallic Fabulous McQueen was released in the Thomasville Racers line in 2018. Up next is a variant of Cruise that was released. Cruise with Earpiece was released as a single in 2020 under the name Trainer Cruise Ramirez. The Cars 3 Easy Idle stock car, who I really should have called the Cars 3 Easy Idle veteran, but whatever, was released just a few months after I made this video as Carl Clutchen. Next, we have a corrected Cars 3 Chick Hicks, as in a Chick Hicks based off of Cars 3 without the headset that his regular diecast has. A Cars 3 Chick Hicks without a headset was released as a rubber tires car in 2018, and I believe even earlier in 2017 a plastic version of him was made. I'm going to be skipping over episode 9, which is the video game edition, because Mattel just doesn't release cars based off of the Cars video games, and we're going to wrap things up with episode 10. I called this guy Luigi with corrected flag. Of course, this is a Luigi with a green flag. But I called him Luigi with corrected flag because... The Luigi with flag Mattel gave us, based off of the fireball beach scene in Cars 3, had a checkered flag where, in reality, in the movie, he had a green flag. This guy was actually just revealed to be released in the 2021 Cars diecast line under the name Race Start Luigi. Also set to be released soon is a Saludos Amigos Ramon, Ramon based off of the end of Cars 3. It's great to finally know that this guy will be coming out soon since he's been missing for quite a while. Currently, the rumor lists are calling him Epilogue Ramon, but I'd assume he'll go under his real name of Saludos Amigos Ramon when we see him. Next Gen No Stall here, unfortunately, had his name cut off in the video. He was released as a single in 2020 under the name Jonas Carvers. And finally, we have Track Damaged Cruz Ramirez, who's just been released in the 2021 Cars Mainline as Track Damaged Cruz Ramirez, so I was one letter off. Anyway, guys. That will wrap up the first episode of Disney Cars Diecasts that have been made, and you'll notice that literally everyone from these first 10 episodes of Cars That Should Be Made that have been made are from Cars 3. They all are, and this is probably just because Cars 3, of course, was newer when I made these videos. It still is newer, of course, being the newest Cars movie, and there were a lot of cars from it that had to be made, and a lot that still do. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.